right, we are going live. We got another episode of the Utah College Football Dynasty Season 19. We're back at home. That's what happens to all undefeated teams. They tend to have a bit of a scare every once in a while, and even the great teams have a scare, and we had our first scare last week. We uh, traveled to TCU, and we barely survived it, man. You can take a look at our schedule here. We were dominant through the first three weeks of the season. Then we hit the road to play a 1-4 and four squad. We barely got out of there. Now, we got coming up the Houston game 3-1, and one, and then we got Nebraska that we got to kind of look ahead. Possibly Missouri could be a big one, too, down the line. So some tough ones coming up, but we got Houston up next, who Houston... You see, they beat Oklahoma and dominated Oklahoma two weeks ago and then slipped up against Missouri. We'll see what type type of team they got. We want to welcome everyone joining us. And this is probably going to be a quick stream today. We're just going to play the one game. We're not going to do the double double dose. That might have got us last time. So uh, let's jump into it. Look at this uh, the quarterback, Williams, here. 1,000, 17 yards. 11 touchdowns, no interceptions on the year. We're going to try to change that, hopefully. Get our first INT of him. See the top guys around the nation. You see leading the way. Hey, Tyson, that's the guy we had to deal with at TCU. He's uh, tops in the nation there. And you can see where the rest of our guys. Look at Harper there, 6 sec. Telling you, well, we're always in the tops for sack and quarter. So let's jump into it. Let's not waste any time. It's the Cougars of Houston in the Utah Utes. So we got to get our unis, as always. The Crimson and Black at home. The, there you go, the O10 uniforms, 2010s, the O10s, whichever. What about Houston? What options we got here? Okay. We only got white, and we got red and white. So we'll just, uh, we'll do a random shuffle here. And stop. They're going to go with the all white here on the road. So, all right. Let's do it. First time we're playing Houston since the big move to the Big 12. We have not played Houston yet in our 19 years as head coach of the Utah Utes. So, this will be our first go round. Checking in on the. Stream here. How's everyone looking? Looking good. Folks be filing in soon. A lot of college football lately. I'm into it, man. Our defense still, you know, we kind of dropped a little bit with our TCU game, but we're still tops in the nation for points, yards, and rushing. Offense is pretty good, too. Our rushing is down, but passing and points is way up there. But Houston's not too bad, either. They average 500 yards a game. For yards or points, they average 36. Defense, though, we can maybe do some damage on their pass defense. Back home. This is what we've been waiting for. And here you go, the Big 12 North. Utah leading the way. Colorado, Nebraska. Oh, that kind of went away quick, but... And the Big 12 South, which is mostly your Texas and Oklahoma teams. Texas, 5-0. and We might meet them in the uh, Big 12 championship game. Might be number one versus number two in the Big 12 championship. Baylor, Houston, Texas, Oklahoma, Texas Tech, North Texas, TCU. So all Texas teams along with Oklahoma and Oklahoma State. So there you go. Let's jump into it. Number one in the nation. We're back. Utah, Houston, about to about to duel here, about to do the duel. All right, heads or tails, and Houston will lose this. I think we've won every coin toss so far this year, so we'll take that. Go on defense, and let's get this one underway. McPherson boots it, and we got another week of Utah Utes. College football action. Starting this one off under center. Williams hands it to Dorsey. 
And Dorsey getting three yards on the handoff there. What kind of Houston team are we going to get? Are we going to get the one that knocked off Oklahoma? Or are we going to get the one that lost to Missouri? And the, you know, we're still out on Missouri. We shut out Missouri a couple seasons ago. But, oh, fumble! How about that? How about that fumble? Tried to go with the option run. Told you about our defensive line. Oh, yeah, that was out of there. And that's Utes football. There's Coach. Did I just put a headset on a headset? Or did I imagine that? I don't know, but this is a, this is starting off the right way for our guys. We're still... Actually, I think Bill Bradford. Is he back? Yeah, Bradford. He only missed one week. He was supposed to be out for two, but he is back, so we'll take that. All day. Kansas, BYU. BYU putting that blowout on Kansas early on here. Cross to Odom. Odom cutting back out upside. Upfield. <laughs> cutting upfield. The third down and three here for the Utes. I'm going to let you in a little secret. We're going to let Bill Bradford handle this one. Try to go right up the middle for three. Oh, and he finds the opening. Yes, sir. Bill Bradford for six. First down, Utah. Listen, man, I don't, what, the day when we get the new game or we go to a new team, it's going to feel so weird. I've played so long with this Utah team. Longer than my Troy. Play fake. Cross rolling out. Just going to go short to Davis. When I first got into the college football games, who did I mostly play with? I'm trying to remember my first coaching go-round. I know I did some stuff with Boise, but then I did USC and Virginia Tech. And then, of course, everyone remembers on NCAA 12. Cross right there to Smith, who would not be denied, finally got brought down. He played with Akron, FAU, Ole Miss, and Troy in 12. And here it was Wyoming, Florida State. Yeah, Utah. Utah for... 17 season, season 17 with the Utes. What a run. And Bradford cannot get forward. You know what? We're going for it. This is big business here. We're going to go for it. Let's try to pitch to the outside. We got all this room on the left side. We're going to see if Bradford can handle this. Fourth and goal. There's the pitch. Oh, what happened? What happened? Oh, my God. He, like, stutter-stepped right there. Why, the stutter-step. Oh, what a disaster. He got, like, tripped up in, the like, the turf monster. Got him, I think. The turf monster ate up Bradford. That was terrible. Oh, man. I hope that doesn't come back to hurt us. Let's uh, keep that three points in mind. Oh, another fumble. Well, if we keep getting that from our defense, we'll be okay. Oh, my goodness. Keep that up. I think that was Harris that came in there and caused the fumble. It was, yeah. I don't know who recovered it, but yes. That's beautiful. All right. Another, you know, possession. We got to get points. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm trying to... I, my cat is trying to go after the headset here. Because it's got a Velcro. Yeah, don't mess with that. My goodness. Okay, number one in the nation trying to play. We're dealing with the cat here. Andrew Cross, nice. Pass. Jermaine Cox brings it in. And it's first and goal once again for Utah. Hey, stop messing with that. That's not a toy. It's dad's business here. All right, Bradford, big opening, and there we go. Touchdown, Bill Bradford. Welcome back, Billy. We missed you in the TCU game. Well, two possessions, two fumbles for Utah. And 
And looking in here, the Red River rivalry going on. Texas and Oklahoma, number 13, number two. We got to keep an eye on that because Texas, our potential opponent, if we make it to the Big 12 championship game, if we keep winning out here, it's going to be another date with Texas. And we'll be meeting them again. The first year we met them, the Big 12 championship game, got the win last year. I'm trying to remember, I don't, we didn't make the Big 12 championship game last year because we had the two conference losses. We lost to Texas and Nebraska. But I believe Texas did win. To check out uh, on Patriot. Oh, no, Oklahoma won because Oklahoma won the national championship. But we have the entire stat book up at Patreon. We mentioned that a lot in the last episode. But if you want to see all the history from the last 19 seasons, you can check that out. Just look up Utah Stat Book on Patreon. TV Sports 27 on Patreon. And a first down for Houston. Richard makes the tackle at the 37 yard Thomas Pierce first down. picking up the first. Brian Williams, this is the old uh, NBC uh, news anchor, right? What's he doing out there for the Cougars? For the Cougs. Williams. Oh, that should have been intercepted. That should have been three interceptions. Bonner had it and he lost it. My goodness. Seven nothing, Utah. Williams. Oh, another near interception. Oh, my goodness. We have these guys on the ropes. They're, they're uh, right now, Cougars playing very, very sloppy football. We got to capitalize. Already gotten the two turnovers. Maybe another. Williams. There we go. Finally. Boy, Williams was playing with fire. Three turnovers already. Brian Williams, not a not a great start to this one. Ben Jackson, finally after two near interceptions, he gets that one, and we're gonna try to take a shot right here, take the points. Because honestly, we want uh, Houston to keep having the ball the way they're playing. Cross, heaves it to Smith. Oh, Zach Smith can't bring it on. He had Joe Smith contending with him. That's going to be the first incompletion for Andrew Cross. Second and 10. Cross dropping back and could not release the ball in time. He gets sacked. Gary Lane with the QB sack. Yeah, he, uh, those linebacker blitzes, man, they, uh, they get me. Ohio State might be knocking off Iowa. College football playoff dreams for number three. Might be fading away quickly here. Cross. He's got a wide open Nick Odom. Touchdown. 51 yards. This is what we're talking about. We are near retirement. And when we recruited Andrew Cross, we thought we got to come back for this guy. He's going to be something special. The highest recruit at quarterback in Utah history. The first year was a little up and down. Not so smooth play. I would say this year. Give or take a couple of uh, underthrows here or there. It's been all solid from Andrew Cross sophomore year. Hopefully we get two more years out of him. Obviously a powerhouse like Utah. It's a guy that might be bouncing to the pros pretty soon. We got to put Andrew Cross in our Denver Broncos, huh? Put him in the in the draft pool. Three fifty-one to go, and it's been all domination by the Utah defense. We were looking for another char in the ball he's loose there. We couldn't get the fumble though that time. Brian Williams does finally complete a pass. Williams just barely gets it to Dorsey, but they're not having much luck at all. That makes it 37. Three, 
Third down. Nothing for Utah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get back to the domination. Pocket was coming in quickly on Brian Williams, too. This is what we were missing out of the TCU game. So Houston will punt this one away. And another opportunity for points for number one. Oh, look at Newton. Look at Newton go into Cougar territory. Fantastic. Fourteen nothing, Utah. Well, plenty of room on the outside. Andrew Cross isn't a mobile quarterback. But when you leave that much room on the right-hand side, he's uh, going to take advantage, is he not? Still in the first quarter. It has been a highly contested first quarter. Bradford was able to break loose of a tackle and rush forward. Looking back, Bill Bradford. Bradford. I know Sam Bradford out there. He's better. Well, Houston had that one scouted all the way. Be third down and three for the Utes. Quick pass. Jerome Perry. Good for a Utah first down. We got a score alert. Look at the total yards. Yeah, man. Ohio State continuing their run here. Cross. Incomplete, looking for Nick Odom. Was the on the play. Too contested the back there. On, Second and ten for the Utes. Oh, almost intercepted. Steve Brown. So now, quickly... Things are going good for Utah. And we should have even more points on the board. It should be like 21-0 if we had scored on that fourth down play before. Cross is just heaving up for anything. He couldn't find anybody open there. That was a disaster of three plays there for Cross and company. And we're just going to have to kick the field goal. Richardson is good. Been pretty perfect all year. I think he had the one miss. 21-21. That's a game to keep an eye on. Because that'll put Oklahoma smack dab back in first place in the Big 12 North. Or the South, rather. We're in the North. We're the Big 12 North. This is a North versus South matchup here. 26 yards so far allowed by the Utah defense. They remain dominant. Where they slacked off a bit in the TCU game. They are back dominating this Houston team. Brian Williams to uh, his brother, Cedric Williams. Five-yard pickup there. Not let Brian Williams get in the zone. We got to keep it up. Navy and Marshall, number four. Navy can move up with uh, Iowa State. Excuse me, Iowa getting beat. And if Texas drops, that would move Navy up to number two. They were in the college football playoff last season. Oh, oh, someone make a tackle. My goodness, that's the oh, 18 yards. He almost made 26 on one play. Gerald McClellan. That's Porter, who's one of our top defenders. At interceptions, is missing that tackle right off right there. 
You gotta get better than that. Come on, that was terrible. Williams the give to Dorsey. And Porter makes up for it a bit by getting that tackle. See if Houston could run one more play here. They should have time, about 15 seconds. And tight end in motion. And Williams goes straight down. Neck roll himself, David Richard. Untouched. Flattening. Brian Williams. Boom. Oh, my God. What a hit. Let's go into the... That was all the first quarter, folks. This first 21 minutes was all the first quarter. 17-0 Utah. Could have been worse. It could have been 28-0. Houston hanging in there, though. They're driving. Third and 10, though. Not going to be enough for the first down. Dorsey pulled down. And Houston will have to punt this one away. Brian Williams, 7 of 11. This improved his completion percentage after a, an atrocious start. we got to watch for the fake punt here. They're not going to do it. C teams try to pull this against us. It doesn't work too well for them. Well, you know what I'm going to say? Let's get some more points. Let's go, fellas. Keep this thing going. Hand it off to Bradford. About five yards there on that run for Bradford. They put a nice long drive together right here. Nick Odom. Over the middle, 18 yards, no problem. Pretty well covered, too. I mean, got two guys out there. I guess they had a linebacker on them, which doesn't help. Texas, 28, taking the lead in the Red River rivalry there. Play fake. Cross. Goes across the field, Jason Newton. 13-yard grab. Utah, first down. Utah are driving. We had Davis going in motion to give to Bradford. Oh, come on, get some better blocks. Oh, that was bad. Bradford got at least two yards, but that was some that was some bad blocking by our guys. Gotta help 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 Bill help Billy out. Billy, help him out, Billy. Second and eight. Cross. Wide open, Zach Smith for the first down. And Utah continues to move. At the Rice, the Rice Eccles. Former home of the Stallions, Salt Lake Stallions. Cross, oh my goodness, how'd he make that? That was like a Houdini play to Cox. I don't know how that got through there. What a drive by the Utes. And in the red zone again. The give to Price and he's pushed back. So our running game down in the red zone is really holding us back. That's pre pre prevented us. This should be a 35 nothing we are going for right now. It's only 17. Cross. Smith. Oh, what the heck happened there? No freaking way. Oh, my God. We keep turning it over. In the red zone. It was caught by Smith, and he got, like, held up. And then he lost the football. It's like he caught it with one hand. And it got batted out of his hand. Oh, my God. 
It should be 35 nothing right now. It's 17 nothing because of our inability to score in the red zone. A fumble, though. It's going to be recovered by Jones. So they got away with one there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Booth Review. I want to watch this. Booth Review is sucking this game. I guess we got to watch it. I'm hitting all the buttons. And they're going to say, oh, he was down. He didn't lose it. And it doesn't matter because they only got like one extra yard when they recovered it. So what the heck does it matter? After review of the play, doesn't to me. Ruling on the field is reversed. But they got to review it. They love the review. Got to have that review. All right. First and ten, Cougars. Excited that we're kind of dominating, but disappointed that we don't have five touchdowns on the board right now. Boy, Ernest Jones, hey, he had nowhere to go. He was brought down immediately. Second down and 10. Kelly coming in, and it is a quarterback sack on to Brian Williams. Just shoved him, the offensive lineman, away with one hand and came in for the QB sack. Third and 18. Kelly coming in again. Williams does complete it to Jones. But he's shoved out of bounds. And Houston will punt this one away. Man, could we be going for another shutout here? What a way to bounce back after the... Normally on the schedule. I'm telling you, every good team has one of those weird games on the schedule where they struggle. Even me, I'm a, I'm a Boise State fan. I think of that, you know, the Fiesta Bowl year. We had the game against San Jose State. It was like 23-20 that they barely won. They had to, like, get a touchdown and a two-point conversion just to get the win. Then the next undefeated year, the TCU Fiesta Bowl year. It was the, uh, was it the, the uh, Louisiana Tech game, I believe, or they, like, Barely got that win. The UC Davis game. Remember that one? That was the Fiesta Bowl year. They barely beat UC Davis, FCS team. It was like 23-16, I think. And that was at home. The TCU game. Hopefully, but, you know, get that one out of the way early, right? Get the, uh, get the anomaly game out of the way early. Get it out of here. Well, Newton... He got tied up with, uh, I think it was Cox that he got tied up with. Still made the catch. Please, let's get a touchdown on this drive. It's going to be all the more disappointing when we should be going for 42 points. Instead, we're going for 24. That's how many missed opportunities we've had. Heading down the field. The defense is playing extremely well here. Blitz is on. Nick Odom. 12 yards, first down. Cross, a nice 12 of 16 so far in this one. Has he done enough to be in the Heisman consideration? What do you guys think? The sophomore leading the number one team in the country. Oklahoma, look at that. They're going to tie it up with Texas. That's a good game right there. The Red River. Jerome Perry makes the catch and fights with his man. Third and one for the Utes. Got to get this one here. We're going to run it. We got to have some good blocking. Nope, my God. What are we doing out there?
I'm going for it. We're going for it. We're, we're playing. I mean, what, what are we doing out there? We're playing so well, and then we're struggling as we get close to the end zone here. Oh, my God. And nobody's blocking. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Another drive. It should be 42 nothing right now, folks. It's 17 nothing. We're, we've let Houston hang around. This is terrible. This part's bad. This is really bad. Luckily, uh, Brian Williams and company keeps doing stuff like that. Another turnover. That was Jackson with the INT. Let's get points on the board. Come on. Looking for Zach Smith. Knocked away. And we haven't played, I guess, I mean, you can say Houston's a good team. They're three and one, but we haven't played like one of the top teams yet. So we haven't really tested ourselves. Look at this. This time, Zach Smith is left wide over. That should be a touchdown. Come on. Smith goes down. It looks like he's all right. Uh, what, oh, we're doing a hurry up. I didn't, uh, did I click that? I didn't mean to click that. No, we're calling a timeout. We're not, we're not playing that game. I must have hit something. All right. Come on, there's no way we don't get points this time, right? There's no freaking way. Seth freaking Rollins. Touchdown, there we go, finally. Goodness. Goodness me. Finally. All right. Extra point is good. Studio update. There it is, 28-28, Red River. 24-0 here, it should be 49-0. This is the team that beat Oklahoma, by the way. This Houston team. And in convincing fashion, they put 56 on Oklahoma. The Oklahoma team that might be very close to beating the Texas Longhorns, number two. So keep that in mind as we dominate this game here. Brian Williams dropping back. He escapes one and then gets popped. Timeout going to be called by the Cougars. Second and seven. Intercepted again. You've got to be kidding me. And it's Jackson. Five turnovers. Brian Williams. All three interceptions, by the way, has been Ben Jackson. I haven't even realized that. Three interceptions, all Ben Jackson. Brian Williams has no time for his coach right now. Frustration abound for the Cougars, thinking they're going to knock off Houston. Or excuse me, Houston, thinking they're going to knock off Oklahoma. Thinking they were going to come in here and knock off Utah. Can't leave Zach Smith wide open. 26 yards. Punch this one in. Come on. Touchdown. Well, we're getting the score up there now. It should have been a lot worse. It should be 56 at this point. Should be blowing them out much more, but we'll take the 31. Back to our dominating ways after a rough outing in TCU land. We might have a chance for another turnover. Let's get some more points. Let's go. Plenty of time. This is college football. There's plenty of time for points. The game track. Ben Jackson. Making Brian Wilson, Brian Williams look, looking like a disaster out there. That's what Ben Jackson's doing. A minute for Brian Williams to 
fall apart again. They went for a half-back screen. And Brian Williams landed on the top of his head. And we call a timeout. We're trying to force some more turnovers. And the Cougs here. And Brian Williams just smartly throws that one away. This might be one of our best Utah teams yet. I mean, it's been 17 years of work. We're going to call our last time out. 17 years of work paying off here with this squad. Oh, the speed by Newton. So no timeouts. We got 36 seconds here. Can we get 38 on the board? We're, we're heaving it for the end zone, man. We can't play conservative. Maybe they, they leave Zach Smith open again. Go ahead and do that. Well, we're going to toss it to Bradford. They left him open. And Bradford takes 18. So we sent everyone deep. And Andrew Cross just... Yeah, Bradford said, I'm open. Hey, we gave it to him. So we got 28 seconds. Touchdown, Nick Odom. Missed opportunities left and right for our Utah Utes. In this first half, but the second quarter, we put it together. We got points on the board. And we are about to go into the locker room. 38 nothing. Think about how many missed. So, let's think about it. If we didn't kick that field goal, it would be 42. And then how many we missed? We went for it on fourth down and missed it. We had two, three turnovers. Two turnovers and one turnover on downs, right? It should be like 63 nothing right now. They're lucky it's only 38. And this is in Big 12 play. Could we get one more turnover? Wouldn't that be beautiful? We had one game that kind of reminded me of this. When we were part of the Pac-12. We were number one. Look at Brian Williams. And he fumbles it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Brian Williams is having a disaster. I would take him out. We had one game that kind of reminds me of this. It was the Pac-12 championship. Number one, Utah. Number two, Washington State. And we put like 50 points on them in the first half. And we won like 72. It was one of the biggest blowouts we've had. And it was against number two. I couldn't believe that. Remember that game we had, Troy? In Oregon, one versus two as part of the regular season. That was like that back and forth battle that we barely survived. Cross is going to heave it for Smith. That probably could have been intercepted. And with 10 seconds, there's not a whole lot you can do. Except just play for the end zone. So that's basically what we're going to do. Even if someone's covered. I mean, if we throw the interception, what the heck? He's got Jerome Perry, and it's a touchdown. Oh, my God, what a second quarter this was. And this is the Andrew Cross we thought we were going to get. It took a year to get there. He had his struggles freshman year. This is the game right here. Big 12 battle. It's 45 nothing. Mascot's going to be doing push-ups all day at this rate. Man, oh man. And the score could be even worse if we had gotten those touchdowns early on. Oof. Well, folks, we're going to get into garbage time really quickly, aren't we? Second half can be a whole lot of run the clock out. That's what you get sometimes in college football when you're, you know, number one.
Dorsey goes down. 45 nothing at the half. That blimp. The halftime blimp. We're going to get the ball here. A chance to do even more damage. Is Brian Williams going to get back into this one? That's the question. Oh, man. Newton almost. Almost got around. Starters back in there. Maybe one, two more drives. Two yards for Radford. Not much in the running game today. You see 45 yards on 16 carries. Not great, not great. But, you know, Bradford's had a couple touchdowns for us. Nick Odom. Got another seven right there. Andrew Cross making his Heisman claim. We've had two Heismans in our 17 years. We had Brandon Cox, year two, our national title year. And then we had Andrew Hayes, who was our running back that rushed for like 2,000 yards every year. Kansas, look at that score. Texas got the lead on OU here late. Iowa looking like they're going down. Oh my goodness, what a catch by Jerome Perry. North Texas, the mean green, might be knocking off Colorado from the top ranks here. What that what it that that's a good day from Andrew Cross. Those numbers you just saw right there. Delayed draw. Bill Bradford, six yards. Quick pass to Zach Smith, who brings it in. And Utah has remained unstoppable. It's the, the Zach Smith, Andrew Cross show right now. And Steve Brown could have all the tackles he wants, but look at that. 413 to 80. Play fake. Cross. Oh, had Jerome Perry. Maybe threw it a little high. He had him. Second and ten for the Utes. Jason Newton for the first down. A kicker turner right there. 22-29. 372. This is probably his finest passing performance yet in his collegiate career Aaron Price before there I'm excited for when the new game comes out we'll get to play the Coastal Carolina Charlotte I know all the new teams that have joined in the last couple years James Madison's coming soon and Smith he's like dove for it and kind of hit the ground so we only got a couple of yards lost the play there third and three let's not waste another opportunity fellas there we go big opening just short of the end zone is bradford number 20 i gotta give him the fourth touchdown There it is. Four touchdowns, 51 points for Utah. I say we leave them out there one more drive. We give them one more. Let them get that nice 60. And we'll pull them out of there. I guess it would be 59. I'm glad we got this work, and I'm glad we could bring you college football. I feel... Uh, well, this team's been a long time in the making. This is their 19th season, 17 with Utah. I'm proud to show off this team. It's a lot of work to, you know.
We haven't really looked at too much of the recruiting stuff. Maybe we'll do some of that at the end of this episode. Kind of do a lot of it off camera. There's not really much to it. I don't really have a good solution for him. I didn't like the recruiting in uh, NCAA 12. So it was mainly just like phone calls and it was the same dialogue over and over and over. This one, I mean, eh, it's better, but it's just like you're you're putting points in a pool. And it's like, it, I don't know. They're not like... It's like weird. I don't know. I don't, but I don't know the way to make it better. But I mean, it's just throwing points. It's not really that interesting to look at. So quickly, I, is Brian Williams even still in there? I, you gotta take this guy out. He's a. Uh, this is like leaving Patrick Waugh in there in a nine nothing game. Well, he hits his brother, and it's gonna be a quick three and out. Houston. So one more drive for our offense, and we're yanking them in the fourth. 52 nothing. This is a this is a bigger blowout than Utah State and Colorado State. Like this is nuts right now. Oh my God! Get that ball, Jeez Louise. Can't have that. Those mistakes we can't have. Got to be better than that. All Houston, all Utah. Jermaine Cox for nine. That brings up second and one. Man left, man left. Weekend's coming up. What do you guys got weekend plans? What games are you playing? What games are you watching? What's your weekend plans? What sports I got this way? I guess just the Cardinals games on Monday. Be watching the uh, NFL playoff games, but man, they stuck my team on Monday night. Nick O. Man, Nick Odom, a quiet 120. All those yards he's picked up. Second and four for the Utes. Oh, that should have been intercepted. Joe Smith. That was a bad one by Andrew Cross. Start leaving him in a little bit. Get these reps, you know. As good of a game as it is. Hadn't been perfect. Oh, man. Go for it. I mean, we're up 52. Doesn't matter. Let's just punt it. First punt here today. Lovely by McPherson. Oh, that was almost a turnover. Oh my goodness, what a disaster that would have been for Houston. Can you believe that? If they had turned it over again, right there. Oh my God, all right, Brian Williams back out there. This poor kid. They keep running him out there. He's already thrown five INTs. He's fumbled left and right. And there's another interception. Oh, my God. Take Brian Williams out of the game. Seven turnovers. And now I think it's safe. We can uh, we can pull our, our guys out of here. There's no reason to leave him in at this point. Another mass substitution. We're putting the backups in. Yes, put them in. Put them in. Another pick six is poor Brian Williams having a, a nightmare of a game on, I don't know if this is national. It's number one, so maybe it is national TV, but people are going to be questioning. Coach, why'd you leave Brian Williams out there this long? Look at that. Texas surviving. Oklahoma, the rivalry game. 35-28, the Longhorns. They remain undefeated. That might be it, you know. Don't say look ahead, but one's anticipating Utah, Texas. At Jerry's World. 
I mean, what can you say looking at that? Double the plays, quadruple the yards, 20 times the first downs. I mean, but now we got the backups in there. So let's see what the Cougars can do. Poor Brian Williams still in the game. And he completes it out there to Marcus Dorsey. So they're just they're gonna they're gonna ride and die with Mr. Williams here. What do you guys think of this decision, huh? Oh my god, Williams gets laid out. Tim Wright. We had a Tim Wright before, he was really good. It was a corner corner blitz coming in. I mean pfft. Williams like take me out, coach. What are we doing? Oh for six Ohio State blowing out Iowa. And that's gonna be another three and out for Houston. Big game for us. If you're a Cougars fan, look away. This was a, a disaster and we still got a whole quarter to go of this thing. Houston's ready to get on that, I don't know, the bus, the plane. How do you get back to Houston from Utah? Oh, my God. Look at all this green. Look at all this. What a kick return. It's going to get even worse now because, I mean, we're going to have to score. We're just going to, I mean, we're going to run the ball a lot. Yeah, but, yeah, dummy, yeah. But, I mean... What the heck? It's like Savannah State, Oklahoma State out there. This game. The give to Price. He picks up five. Just gotta keep running it. Two times, two times. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Run the clock down. It really is garbage time. But when we were doing the uh, Colorado State game that we didn't upload to YouTube because the, the stream was so bad. Maybe I'll upload it. It's just like a, if you can stand to watch it, here it is, but it's so bad. Maybe like an unofficial episode. I don't know. You guys tell me. But we were just reading scores from Patreon. We went on our Patreon page, and we were just reading old Utah Ute scores and going over the team history. Maybe that's what we'll do again here. We pretty much just let the computer play defense. And then we just were reading off scores. Big opening for Price. We're going to hit the 60s right here. Ben Browns, who's had one of the, the stronger games for Houston on defense, he's uh, coming out. And we will head to quarter number four. 59 nothing. Utah dominating the Houston Cougars here. Poor Brian Williams. We're gonna switch sides. It's still packed out. Look at look at Rice Eccles. And Price just walks it in, no problem. 65 nothing, Utah. I can't remember the last time I had a, a game like this. This is this is very one-sided. 66-0. Oh, Colorado's caught up now. That's going to be an interesting game, the Colorado. We mentioned in the last stream, they've kind of been the punching bag for us at the end of the year. That's Colorado. It's going to be real interesting if they're really good come the end of the year. I mean, it's not gotten much better for Houston. And that final game, that rivalry game, that could, I mean, anything could happen there. We still got an entire quarter to go, folks.
And poor uh, Brian Williams is still in there. And God bless him, he's going to try to run. Only picks up a yard. Nine carries, negative two yards. Well, that was his average or something. I was... In the shotgun. I think that's Means. That's the first time Calvin Means has caught a pass. Yeah, there it is. So third and three. Look at those stats. Ugly. My goodness. 0 for 7. Can the Cougars finally get a first down? It's an option play. No way. Brian Williams driven back. Jonathan Barrett. And they're just going to punt this one away again. They almost broke 100. We broke 100 uh, five times on our end. But they've almost done it once. Look at this blocking. I want that blocking in Madden so bad. Keep showing us the numbers, man. We know it's one-sided. Again, this team beat Oklahoma. This team gave Oklahoma... I was going to say their only loss, but they just lost to Texas. And the score could be and should be a lot worse. Again, we went for it on fourth down early on, didn't get it. We had a turnover, a fumble in the red zone. We had to settle for a field goal. It was like twice. Twice we went for it on fourth down and didn't get it. We settled for the field goal, and we had the fumble. So think about that. So add take, take 63 and add four more touchdowns to that. That should be the score right now. We'd be almost at 100 if we had just not been, you know, screwing around early on. We're going for the 70 right now. I mean, we're just kind of running the ball. I guess we could let a little more time tick off the clock. No, I don't want to just sit here. I will just run it. We haven't thrown a pass in quite some time. And Aaron Price doing the bulk of the work here. How many runs are we going to have when this is all said and done? Like 50 running plays. Tom Smith. Love me some Tom Smith, man. Still 5.13 to go in this one. If you guys like blowouts and garbage time football, this is the game for you, man. Yeah, we should be in the 80s. 80 points if we had gotten those four touchdowns that we settled for. The two turnover on downs, the one fumble, and the field goal. A lot of the late games start now. You see Southern Miss playing. You saw Miami and, U and uh, Idaho. Notre Dame and Duke kicking off TCU and Oklahoma State. The TCU having a couple of close games as of late. Let's go score watch. And since he kicked off, Big Ten game there. Georgia Tech dominating Middle Tennessee. They're undefeated, right? They're looking for some respect in the polls. Ooh, what's this upset alert here? Oh, early on, Virginia. Remember, Southern Miss is an SEC team. Virginia in the ACC. Well, Houston's making us work for this final touchdown here. That's for sure. And a priority score. Oklahoma State striking first. Love me some college overtime. I don't like the new stupid rule, the, the two-point conversion alternating play. Where we had nine overtimes, Illinois and Penn State, which was ridiculous. But I do love classic college overtime rules. 
Well, unless they really buck up here, we're going to hit 70 in this game. Should we just, uh, like, take a knee and just give it back to them? We could run up the score if we wanted to. We're, I mean, we're playing like how we should, just run the ball as of late. Oklahoma State does indeed knock off TCU. So, man, how close TCU was to two big wins, and they end up going 0 for, 0 for 2. All right, third and goal here for the Utes. How long has this drive been? Eight of 12 for us on third downs. Compare that to the poor Cougars, I think, of 0 for 9. And there we go. 72 on the board in a Big 12 game. That was like a 20 play drive, just all runs. 14 plays. 51 yards. That was just all runs. One of the biggest blowouts we've ever had, certainly since we've been in the Twitch. I'm back. I uh, yanked my microphone out with my foot. Four interceptions, three fumbles, four sacks. Seventy-three points. Seventy-three nothing as well. And poor Brian Williams still in there. Leon Hackett will make the grab. He's almost got 100 yards passing, God bless him. Run the ball with Marcus Dorsey for seven. That ought to give Houston their 100 yards they were looking for. We got to have almost 600 at this point. Oh, there you go. Oh, man, I don't want Houston to score. I want that zero on the board. If they go down and kick a field goal or something stupid, I'm going to be so mad. You got the shutout going, fellas. Keep that going. Brian Williams. They are playing against our backups, though, so there is that, you know. Backup's been in for a while. I hope we don't run into a situation. He says, again, I'm a Boise fan. The year that, the uh, the famous year, the Nevada game, that year Boise State was blowing out like everybody that they kept pulling their starters after like the second or third quarter. And they were saying like that Nevada game that they were just kind of gassed because they hadn't been playing four quarters all year. And that Nevada game was the first time they had to play late four quarters and in overtime. That's what burned them in the end. I hope that doesn't happen to our guys. We've pulled them in every game except the TCU game. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, I, uh, oh boy. Another turnover for Brian Williams. That's five. And, uh, we're an extra point away from having 80 points on the board. What is happening right now? And there's still a minute to go. This is the biggest blowout. And it's, we're not running up the score, folks. We ran the ball and we're, we put the back. We did all the right moves. We put the backups in. You know, we uh, we ran the ball late. 80 to 0. Yeah, I, th I mean, the, the, they keep Brian Williams in there. He's been a disaster. What can you say? 
Why are they leaving this poor guy out there? They're still running him out there. It's terrible. Oh my god. Oh my god, what are they doing? Nine turnovers. Jonathan Barrett picked that one off. Six interceptions. Three fumbles. I think two of them were for Brian Williams. That's going to be a big talking point in Houston tomorrow morning is why they left this kid, Brian Williams, in this long to just get embarrassed. Man, I want to get one more score. I would love to get <laughs> to 87. And again, think about it. We should have... Like 28 more points right now. We should. T oh my God! I was. I just ran the ball. I wasn't trying to run up the score. I handed the ball off. Oh my God! Think about if we had those extra four touchdowns, we would be over a hundred points right now. This is insane. I've never had a game like this. 19 years. All the years on NCAA 12 with Troy. Folks are going to be looking at this score and be like, what the heck? I just ran the ball. I did not run up the score. All I did was run the ball. So don't, don't put that one on me. And there's still 38 seconds. We could get 90. We should have 100 if we hadn't screwed around in the first quarter. Again, we had the fumble in the red zone. Okay, I don't think we're going to get to 90. We had the fumble in the red zone. We went for it twice on fourth down. And we had the field goal. If you take those away and give them touchdowns, that's an extra. Take three points away from 87. Oh, my God. That was almost another interception. So that would be 84. And then add 28 points to that. We would be at 100 right now. It would be over 100. It'd be like, uh, what was it, Georgia Tech and Cumberland? 222 to nothing. And mercilessly, this game keeps going. Eighty-seven nothing in football. Didn't, uh, what was it, Rutgers and... Wisconsin had a game like that, similar to that. Well, this is some of the best completed passes that Houston's had all day. They are going to get maybe one more. Yeah, this is going to be it. They're not calling a timeout. They're just going to They're just going to run one more play and it looks like they're going to let poor Brian Williams throw it. And he completes it to Pierce. That was the best drive of the day for Houston. The team that knocked off Oklahoma. 3-1 Houston dominated here today to the tune of 87 to nothing. Bradford ended up being your player of the game, I think, because he had the four touchdowns. I would have given it to either Andrew Cross or Zach Smith. That was one of the most dominating games I've ever played. What can I say? I want to even see some of these highlights right now. Let's remember what happened in this game. Andrew Cross was a monster. And the story was poor Brian Williams just being left out there. To the tune of six interceptions, a couple of pick sixes. There's another one. I mean... <laughs> What can you say, folks? Finally, it's going to come to the end. That's a long day if you're the Cougars. And again, I feel like we were gentle down the stretch. I don't think we ran up the score on them. I mean, down the stretch late, we were just, we took the starters out and just ran the ball. Save all. 
That's a good picture. Can we get that for the uh, the old thumbnail? I just I was using the old Utah logo, but that is a good one. I can screenshot it later. All right, um, let's look at the the scoring here. Scoring summary. Man, look at that. 28, 14, 28. That second quarter was big. This is where we were screwing around. We should have had another 28 in the first. And then after that, I mean, it was just runs. This is where we took our starters out. And then it was the pick six. And then we just ran the ball the rest of the way. Super performance. 87 nothing. That's as good as time as any to end the stream. We'll look at some scores. We'll take a look at the recruiting. Did our re did our recruiting jump up after that? I hope so. Hashtag NCAA four. I, I use the hashtag. Say I just won a, an eighty seven nothing game. Some scores here. Tennessee won. Miami, no problem. Notre Dame, no problem. Southern Miss survived Virginia. Whew. What do they have to say about that? Dominate, yeah, that was a, and and remember, didn't we when we were looking at the stats at the beginning? Remember, Brian Williams had no interceptions all year, right? He was eleven touchdowns, no interceptions. What happened? To the, maybe that's why they left him out there. They were so confident in him, but that was. Man, I kind of forgot about that as we were playing. But yeah, that was a. Uh, that was uh, his first interceptions thrown, and he threw six of them, and he would look like a disaster out there. So we'll take a look going forward. Five and zero. Oh. The Utes. Pile that news. Big news, big business. Got Darren O'Donnell. So that's kind of a look at our. Uh, we lost our big punter. Let's uh, we'll look at some recruiting. We'll look at some news, and then we'll look at the Heisman. We'll see if Andrew Cross got up in the Heisman at all. We got BYU up next. Rivalry game here. Only play for Big Boot or something. Let's look at our recruiting. Where we're at. Got some scheduling here. Um, so Johnny Davis, that's looking good. A 78 tight end. Keeping our defensive tackle stuff up. We're in a battle with some of our Big 12 rivals there. Larry Robinson. Dan Archer as well. There's some points. I guess we don't... When you have that big of a lead, you don't really need to give more points, right? Like all these guys... Here's the guys we've landed so far. I mean, man, Jim Perkins, an 80. That's going to be big business, a five-star. We got Jacob Davis, a four-star. I mean, strong state. There's some big names we already got right here. 
committed to our team. So that's going to be big, big business. Him coming in, hopefully he can make an impact very early on. What else do we got? How do we look at just everybody? All prospects. We we'll put the number one athlete on our uh, board here. Oh, oh, we can't be a part of that. So here's someone we got our eyes on, Billy Lyles. How do we put some points into him? Another athlete. Oh man, got a couple of Ohio schools right there. Is that just to add them to the list? It's been a while, and I gotta remember how to do this now. I throw some points into those those targets. Or do I have to like add them to my recruiting board? Someone remind me how to do this. I don't remember how to do this. Looking prestige. I can see some of the coaches here. Bo Pelini, Jimbo Fisher at Auburn, Gary Anderson, Mark Hudspeth. Will Muschamp rip that Puma. Oh, he's a, he's a defensive coordinator. Mike Gundy is a man at Penn State. Look at him. Gus at Toledo. What a fun to see where some of these coaches end up. Jim Mora there. Lawson. Chris Peterson, he's an offensive coordinator. That's Sparty. Troy Calhoun, David Shaw, Tim Beck. Scott Frost at Stanford. I hope they keep this coaching carousel thing, because that's one of the big criticisms of the Madden game, is they don't have like any of the coaches or coordinators in there. I hope this is something that... This was such a fun part of the college football game, is having all the coaches and doing the coaching carousel and all that fun stuff. That's got to be something they keep. Kirby Smart, he just won a national title as the DC at Cal. Pat Fitzgerald. Number one defense in the nation, Mr. Fitzgerald. Alright, that's enough of that. Dan Mullen, head coach at uh at Hawaii. Dun dun dun. Why are they auto-saving on us? Um, so anyway. Look at that. We're projected to be a championship caliber, like, all the way going forward. Campus lifestyle is a D minus. What the heck? How do we boost that up? <laughs> it sucks at Utah, is what they're saying. Um... So we've gotten five four-star recruits already. We're kind of we're topping out there. See, we would have been stupid to leave Utah. This this team's got so much ahead of us, man. How do I add these guys to the uh, to the board here? How do I throw points at them? I got them on the target now. Do I scout them and they just get automatically added, or how the heck does this work? Files and Baker. They don't know what to do after this. Target them and then 
go on your board. I don't see it. Where's Lyles? Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, these are all the guys we just added. Yeah, let's, uh... We got all these points to give. This is the recruiting. I told you this isn't too interesting. All these big-name players. Why not? We got points to give, so let's give them. I mean, these are all as high as they can go. He's a lead, so we don't need to put any more into that. He's a lead. Uh, yeah, what the heck? We need a fullback. Three-star fullback. I had 200 more points to give. Put him in there. Okay. There you go. That's how you recruit. That's the recruiting, so we'll tune in next time we stream. Maybe tomorrow night. Who knows the way it goes. And we'll have to see how that uh, how that recruiting ended up. And now let's take a look at some news, and then we will let's see what they said after this game. There's always room for improvement. Ah, shut up. That was a you know, we couldn't do any better than that. All right. So the top 25 shouldn't be too different other than Iowa dropping out. Still Utah and Texas is head on collision, man. I mean, these scores. The defense, <laughs> look at the, the dominating defense. It's that TCU game was the weird one in there. Nebraska's going to be real interesting to see what we're made of when that comes up. But Texas, I mean, they've been winning, but I wouldn't say in dominating fashion, but they've been winning. For sure. Fresno moved all the way up. They got that, that big spot. They had some big wins. BC on the road. Washington, USC. And then FIU at 5-0. and Part of the ACC. I wouldn't say the most dominating schedule right there. But, I mean, they're up there. And then you got Navy. Ohio State. They're at 4-1. and They're up there with their loss. The Southern Miss. SMU and Conference USA up to seven. Penn State. So, man, that could be interesting. Utah, Texas, Fresno, FIU, and Navy. Your top five. Penn State up there. So the dominating names are kind of all slipped up a little bit. Cincy won some love. USF, Central Michigan all undefeated. South Carolina also 6-0 saying, what about us? Florida Atlantic, Clemson at 5-0. So interesting stuff right there. And to wrap things up, we will look at the Heisman watch, see if Andrew Cross is there at all. Not on the list. My goodness. Rashad Johnson, Clint Prater, John Meyer, Mike Strickland, and Brad Goff. So no, uh, no Andrew Cross on the list for Heisman. He's 14th in the nation. Of throwing. All right, folks, that is going to do it. Thank you guys for tuning in for another episode of the Utah Dynasty. We got BYU. We got more Cougars up next. Houston Cougars, BYU Cougars. Hopefully, another dominate performance. Maybe we could break 100 next time. Who knows? Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time.